What up YouTube? So as promised, this video is going to be a walk around of the shop. I'm going to show you guys uh, the things I've done since I moved in and uh, how I got my little situation set up. Um, hopefully it's going to change soon. By change, I mean adding more things in that I need, but for now, this is what I got going on. So let's go. Guys, yeah, so we're going to start in the one corner and go all the way around. So here we just have a simple uh, 50 foot hose rail from Harbor Freight Airline. Uh, everybody knows that you gotta have some air in your shop. So I got that plumbed up with some PEX going over to my compressor. Um, and then I went and got this uh, parts washer. I have not used this yet. Well, I'm actually, I lied, I'm using it right now. I just got these A-arms in there sucking, trying to get all the grease and stuff off of them. But this is a Harbor Freight parts washer. Um, I think I'm going to get another one of those. But I'm going to get one that uh, you can heat the water up and, you know, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, strictly for powder coating um, to, you know, wash oily parts and whatnot. And this one will be for engine rebuilds when I'm trying to clean cases and things like that. Uh, so I don't have too much cross-contamination. Uh, this thing right here is my biggest investment as far as the garage goes. And one I'm most proud of because I built this myself. This is a 4x4x7 four by four by electric powder coat oven. And then uh, here's the rack. I built this rack too. Um, my first ever time welding. I'm not going to show you all my welds because they look like poop, but. Let me know if you guys want to see a video on this oven. I don't want to go too much into detail on it right now. But if you guys want another video on the details of this oven and how it was built, yada, 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 drop a comment. Let me know. And uh, I'll make another video, man. But yeah, I can't wait to start using this thing. Um, the LTZ 400 build is coming up and all of that stuff has to get coded. So I'm super, super excited to, to get that stuff in here and get it coded. This is another thing I had to do. I had to put in a sub panel um, because this garage had zero electricity in it. The only, it only had one outlet all the way over in the other room and the other flex space, they called it. And uh, that was just operating the uh, garage door opener. So we ran this sub panel. I ran three outlets in here on this wall. And then I ran a line for the oven. This is a 50 amp plug with a 50 amp uh, range cord. That's what operates this oven. Um, and then I have two blast cabinets in here. I have a dry cabinet for small parts and I have a cabinet that I converted into a vapor blaster. And this thing works surprisingly well, man, for what I have invested into it. Um, yeah, you can buy a, a vapor blast cabinet, but this thing is like a fifth of what one of those cabinets would cost. Um, what I have into this. I just bought a regular Harbor Freight cabinet and converted it. There's a bunch of videos out there on YouTube. I pretty much watched them all and just took, uh, you know, what I felt like would work best for me from them. And I made that cabinet. It works pretty good. I've already vapor blasted some stuff. Um, as you guys saw in the YZ video, uh, that head and, and uh, the outer clutch cover and some other parts I blasted on that. You guys will see some stuff that I blasted in the LTZ video as well. When that comes out, uh, you guys already know my little bench over there, my workbench. Um, that bench right there is goaded. There's been many, many motors built on that bench right there. Um, one thing uh, I need to do in the future is get a freaking legit toolbox. Um, as you guys see, I'm still working out on my little 350 piece Harbor Freight toolbox right there, um, as well as some other miscellaneous tools that I have for, you know, special tools and stuff like flywheel pullers and crankcase splitters and 
torque wrenches and box wrenches and all that good stuff, mallets and hammers and screwdrivers and yada, yada, yada. Uh, but I need to get myself a, a decent uh, roll around toolbox to put in here. Um, that's next on the list. And then another thing I did was this uh, Craftsman uh, 60 gallon compressor from Lowe's. Um, I wish I would have spent a little bit more money and got a little bit of a better compressor. This isn't a bad compressor um, by any means, but for all this blasting and stuff that I'm doing now, I kind of wish I would have got a little bit beefier compressor. This thing does the job, but it does run a lot. So for now, it's, it's doing the job, man. Um, you know, maybe later on in the future when I got the pennies, I'll upgrade. Um, you know, especially if my little side venture with the powder coating and the blasting and stuff picks up, I'm definitely going to have to upgrade. So that'll be something I'll be looking in into the future. Um, yeah, guys, and that's pretty much it with the, with the shop update, garage update, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you guys are wondering, these, this is a customer bike. This is another customer bike. This, uh, 400 EX, I'm pretty sure you guys saw this in a different video. This is mine, a project bike, um, probably gonna happen after the LTZ. All right, y'all, so that's gonna be a wrap for the garage slash shop tour. As always, man, I appreciate you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and becoming part of the fam. I think I'm gonna have some pretty sweet stuff coming out in the future. And uh, any of my returning subscribers, thank you guys. Um, and I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.